This is Twit. Uh, AM radio is on its last legs. Washington Post, this broke my heart because I'm a longtime uh, radio guy. End of a love affair. AM radio being removed from many cars. Ford, BMW, Volkswagen, Tesla. Uh, they kind of have the excuse, well, the electric motors interfere with the AM. But really, it's, you know, why put it in if people are going to be using their smartphones? It does raise an issue because uh, AM radio is used for safety announcements, emergency announcements. And there are plenty of places where you can't get a cell phone signal. Um, so... I imagine there'll be a, quite a bit of lobbying from uh, broadcasters to keep it alive. What do you do? You guys ever li- you ever listen to the radio, Amy? I yes, I listen to college. Uh, usually, go. whenever I'm in a new place, I listen to a college, college radio station. Much better, isn't it? Yeah, good. Like I, I get good, you know, introduced to new music that way. But yeah. I was actually on an AM radio show. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a n- national show in the middle of the night. Oh, our uh, the name of yeah, it. coast to coast, coast to coast, coast to coast. Um, Art Bell's old show now. George Nori uh, hosts it. Yeah. Yep, I was on coast to coast. Did he ask you about it aliens? Was, it was mostly call-in people. So I was on from like <laughs> two a.m. to four a.m. Oh, or wow. something when I was launching the last book. And oh, that's um, quite a booking. Wow. Well, here here's what it was. It was a lot of people who were really worried about uh, vaccines. Yeah, and they. Listen, if you're up in the middle of the night, you're you're worried about something. You know, you're you're probably anxious and and it occurred to me, so Zelda comes into play. Um so listening to everybody, it occurred to me that they all must feel like everybody was really talking down to them and just treating them like they yes. were dumb and I I think when you're That's genuinely right. anxious and afraid, that is not the right response. So I was like, actually, one guy who had called in, I was like, do you ever play Zelda? And he was like, yeah, I play Zelda. And I was like, okay, um, the, this is COVID is a little, and the MRNA vaccines are a little bit like, you know, you're out roaming around Hyrule and you meet, what are those blobs? I can't remember the name of them, but the blob comes by. And like the first time you see the blob, you don't know, is this food? Is this a good blob? Is it a bad blob? Maybe, you know, it's hard to tell. And since you can't recognize what it is, you don't know what to do with it. You're you're missing the instructions. Once you have the instructions, like, oh, that blob is actually a bad thing and it's going to kill you, you know which weapon in your quiver to, to pull out and, and to use to defend yourself against it. That is what the messenger RNA vaccine does for you. They're right? actually it, called uh, blobs, by the way. That's the official, official name. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it was like, and we just had this moment where he, I heard he was like, Nobody oh. ever, why, why don't they just oh. tell us that? Yeah. I don't know. And it just, it, it, um, so I mostly just listen to people being really worried and telling them like, your fears are totally valid. Like I, you know, like I get it. This is uh hard stuff. Um, oh, so it was very it, good that for two very hours. Good. Yeah. That's anyway. I so think, I guess honestly, that show is if AM radio dies, it's because broadcasters have killed it basically. Right. I'm surprised that it's AM in not FM, right? Because like you would think that like well, FM is actually more useful. Yeah, FM's but I would have expected next. it to go first. Yeah, it's like we don't need radio for like higher quality. And AM right. AM gives you the range, and it's like and information, you know, and it works everywhere. In the apocalypse, you'd rather you'd rather That's have a, a good, good point. AM radio. Why aren't they and taking the serious FM shows radios? are yeah. still commercials? Yeah, so it's not like you've. Yeah, I don't know. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twit, which costs seven bucks a month. Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude. 